with another video, man. Hey, Get this is Beyond here. Scare Straight JoJo Edition. All right, we got some beautiful ladies in here <laughs> in the building tonight, man. Hey, y'all clap it up, man. Y'all clap it up, man, for the beautiful ladies that we got tonight, man. No cap, man. Hey. <laughs> we about to get straight into it. Hey, shout out to Pain for Sin, man, for being one of the first, you know what I'm saying, on the last video. Shout out Pain for Sin. I bet, man. Hey, if you want to get a shout out from these ladies, hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications, and send me proof that you follow these ladies on Instagram, all right? Go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. I'm Angelica. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Pretty Lil Angie. Pretty L-U-H-H Angie. You can find, my name is Maris, guys, and you can find me at Who is Maris on Instagram and 111.Maris on TikTok. My name is Belaney, and y'all can add me on Instagram and TikTok as iGardener33, I-G-A-R-D-I-N-E-R-33. I am my honey smacks and you can okay. follow everything. My honey smacks. I'm on whatever you want, baby. That's what I like, baby. <laughs> hey guys, it's Cassie G. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Cassie G. C A S S I space G. 360 out here, zebra. You know what I'm saying? Wild okay. animal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Wild animal out here. You know what I'm saying? No cow. Coming up on this special programming of. Loco Barocco. I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison. Oh, and this nah. is my assistant, Charlotte. All right, everybody, that's a rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? Um, yes, what about? Should I say to you to speak? Uh, I'm no. Mm -hmm. I thought, so mm. It's just your ass up. Mm. I did not need that I attitude. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to jail. I beg your pardon? Goddamn prison! Because Jolene <laughs> has been locked up. Okay. So yeah, today we're going to be taking a tour of the Green Dolphin Street Prison. Because my God, this prison is out of pocket. This makes Alcatraz look like a daycare. But ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and relax as we dive into the aquarium as we will observe pure ignorance. You punk ass <laughs> Fatherless behavior. Oh. <laughs> and a priest being in the name of the Holy Spirit on this special programming of. They get it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So we're probably all wondering, alright, so uh how did our boy Jotaro's daughter end up getting locked up? Well, obviously, we have to start from the beginning. So we start off in these holding cells, and they talking about master. What? I beg your pardon. Oh, think about the moonlight yeah. going in through the shape of the window box. What was that? This what can't be that? happening right now. This is the first scene of the season, and they already talking about. Really, my face. In this unsanitary ass cell. And then old girl talking on the left like, oh, y'all some nasty ass hoes, ain't you? And then Jolene starts talking <laughs> shit. No. I know you talking, boo boo. Oh, I can tell God. just by your finger. You in here for <laughs> What? Ooh, so yeah. I don't why this show was called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So then old girl like, oh, so you really like that. So uh, how did you end up in here? Jolene Cujo, 19 years old. I'm in here for stealing and hit and run. Not the hit and Here's run. Video, uh, can you please explain to me your situation right now? First of all, man, I'm innocent, so let's get that straight. Well, I'm sorry, man, but if I'm reading this correctly, it says back when you were 14, you had two burglary charges? <laughs> Times are rough. That's what happens when your dad leave you at 14. Okay, okay, well, can you just please explain the situation? <laughs> well, you see, what had happened was me and my nigga Romeo was riding down the street. Okay. Now, I thought he was real cute, nigga, even though his barber this shit up right before he picked me up. Yo. I don't know what he was going for, but Miss Cujo, please get back to the situation. Oh, my bad. She so, uh, long terrible. story short, we ended up hitting a nigga. Okay. Oh, hurry and hit that. So I'm trying to call him. No, don't do it. Homie already dead. So let's get his body and shove his ass in the trunk. So obviously oh, I'm freaking out and everything, but then he said, Jolene, listen, I'm Romeo. And you my Juliet. So stop acting weird and shit and let's shove the mother in the trunk. So mm. we shoved him in the trunk, oh. and that's why I'm here. Okay, so what Damn. you're telling me is Romeo hit the victim, right? 
I ain't telling you, nigga. I ain't no fed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know what Yo, what? So while they're still talking, he ends up giving her this tray, and on this tray is a pendant, and he says it's from her dad. So obviously, okay. she like, my dad, that bum ass, I don't want this shit. But then the pendant is <laughs> And well, we what? all know what happens in JoJo when something weird hits you. Like, let's say a mask or an arrow. So after this, she ends up getting transported over to the prison, and then she meets old girl again. Y'all know what the f going on. It's your girl, Ermes. This my second time in here. Three. And for this offense, I'm in here Probably for robbing the 7-Eleven across baby. the street. So then she starts telling Jolene, girl, I hope you got some money on you. If you ain't got no Benjamins on you, you gonna turn into a pack. And bruh, she got it stitched in there. She said, I got five 20s in one and 50 in the other. Okay. So they tell Jolene oh to get God. off. So then she gets off. She can still hear the people in the bus. And the officers are trying to rob Ermes. So she take out the 20 in her head, but they like, hey, Shawty, that ain't gonna be enough. So we're gonna have to take off them stitches. But then this thread ends up coming from Jolene's hand. The red ended up slicing off homie's ear. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ended up having a trial. And this is where it started to get wild. Okay. So the judge says, I see that you took this plea deal. But the thing is, the body that you disposed of, homeboy was still alive. So therefore, you are an accessory to murder. So that'll be 15 uh, years. How was that nigga alive the way they hit him? God dang. Boom. They just tossed him in the truck. <laughs> they tossed him in the lie. trunk. Bro, didn't say nothing? Okay. Didn't even, didn't even fight for his life. Damn. Huh? Get out there. Look at the lawyer, bruh, just let it happen. She like, wait a minute, oh, this makes no ears. sense. I struck a deal. <laughs> look yeah, at elf. This middle earth elf ass gu. <laughs> nothing uh... happened. So he walks back, <laughs> and this whole time, homeboy was getting freaky with Romeo. Oh, oh. So Jolene oh. got packed up, and she was sitting on the green dolphin street. That's messed prison. up. Dang. Yes, for real. He was trying to take Romeo's cheeks. So we my girl. Through intake. <laughs> he ends up seeing the lawyer again. And look at her. She's like, ooh, I swear to God, I'm going to choke the shit out of your ass. And while he's <laughs> one of her threads come through his <laughs> PC. And she ended up choking the nigga. <laughs> also, I'm oh laughing, God. but that nigga looked like a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> when, when that nigga got choked, he looked like a dang reindeer. Right? Boy, hey, hey, yo. Look, at this, look at this nigga. Look, God, I'm gonna choke the sh** out of your ass. So while he's dropping, this nigga look like a reindeer. One of her threads <laughs> come through his AC. <laughs> 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 no, it looked like a reindeer. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Or somebody is tapping his cheeks. Either one. That's what that nigga. <laughs> no cap. Hey. Nah, bro. She really liked that. So then after this, we end up meeting the warden. Loco oh, Baroco. Nah. I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street oh, Prison. Oh, man. And I got to ask, though. Would y'all date him $1 million? I got $1 million just to take out on a date. You ain't got to kiss him. Y'all ain't going to get that bag. I'll take I'll take him on a date. I'll take it. We can go for that, man. You would you do it too. Okay. As long as you're not touching me, we good. Hey, god dang, yeah, that million, <laughs> god dang. I might do it too, nigga. Stay back, though. You know what I'm saying? Stay back. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm gonna be like these. Keep your distance. Hell yeah. All right, everybody, that's the rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? Um, yes. What about? Hey, should I say to you to speak? Uh, uh, um, no, sir. That's what I thought. So do yourself a favor and shut your ass up! So then we end up meeting her cellmate, Gwes. So Jolene tries to put her stuff on the bottom bunk, but she throws a whole oh. barbell at her. Oh. Look at her, the bottom bunk is mine, you nasty. What? You the top. That's but she crazy. ends up having the pendant, and there's this bird, and there is a little okay. person in there. So then she over here sitting on this bench yelling at this bird, and she ends up choking the life out of the bird. Yo, somebody called oh. Peter. But Jolene ends up grabbing the bird, and that is out of commission. So then Gwes comes over and grabs her like a titan. And she forces her to put on this rat suit so she can help her escape prison. So she makes Jolene run through this what gate, but her little? body starts to grow again. 
So while she's running back to the gate, this ugly ass stand. Oh my God. Look like a gremlin. So she ends up getting <laughs> stuck in this bar. So Google Dolls tries to jump up and kill her, but she ends up smacking that. Oh. She's like, oh my Ooh. God. Is this, is this my stand? Mm. So she ends up rocking her sh And look at her. Oh, you really thought you was about to pull a fast one on it, huh? Well, I'm about to beat you like my daddy, bitch. God, your daddy. Damn. She is beating the life out of her. So, yeah, bro, she was done. And she took the bottom buck from my ass. Made her sorry <laughs> ass take the top buck. So then the next day, Jolene up the top. phones. And this girl come over and ask her for some money. And she's saying she'll pay it back. So she give us some spare change. But then Quest come back over and she like, Jolene, girl, what the hell are you doing giving your money out like that? That's how you become a you best go get your money back or you're going to be looking like her. A oh. bitch. So Jolene goes and tracks her down and asks her for the money back. But then the girl says, did I say I'll pay you back? What's wrong with you, nigga? Does oh. your brain now work or something? Yeah, nah, you better get your money. Because obviously you can't <laughs> process. Get your money, bitch. So Jolene goes back and she's like, all right, then. So she ends up putting some laxatives in her coffee. So she went oh. up to the bathroom because she got a doo-doo, but Jolene said oh. the bathroom. Oh. So she's like, okay, I'm sorry. I'll give you your money back. You know what? I'll even double it. So she come out and smack the bitch. She like, sold. Now give me that $10. Appreciate doing business with you. Oh. So then as she walking hey. over to the door, she, <laughs> she was not playing. She was not playing about her $10. This boy. So then the kids right. start talking to me saying, you will have Money's money. Money. But do not meet the visitor. So then after this, the kid disappears and this guard comes over and smacks her in the head. Bro said, what you doing looking at a ghost bitch? Oh, I'll show you Casper. Oh, in the neck? So in the, the neck, next day, he, started crazy. Crazy. he started antagonizing her. He like, oh, sorry for yesterday. I mean, I didn't mean to hit you that damn hard, but uh, you was touching the bars and I had to follow the rules. My <laughs> oh, and by the way, you got a visitor. So she goes right. to see the visitor, and it's none other than Joe Taroku Joe. I am him. Don't play with me, nigga. On the Dead Op Dio on Jonathan Joe Star's Heavenly Grave, nigga. I am him. So Jolene looking at him, and she like, ah, oh, hell nah. So she socks the security oh. guard, and she <laughs> okay. like, oh, so it looks like you finally came back from that grocery trip. Did you ever get the milk, nigga? Because damn, it took you long enough. <laughs> but Joe Taro's just looking at him. It took you long enough. Oh, oh my shut the God. up and sit down. Yeah, Listen, the milk? you were framed. <laughs> my homeboy right here. You want to know why you were framed? Because you are Joe Star. Our family been having ops since the 1800s. So Jolene goes up to the door, but her handcuffs are off, and she end up getting shot. <laughs> Well, luckily, what? she ended up stopping it. So, John Gallier's stand Manhattan transfer is like Ooh, she little shot wall by. hacks with a ricochet effect. Uh -huh. Look at homeboy okay. posted up in his cell oh. sniping. So, the security guard gets up and he ends up doming the security oh. guard. Oh, my damn. God. First face Gabby and now face John Gallier. God damn. Like, who's next? Face Usopp? So, later on, they end up figuring out that this is a whole illusion. And what is what? this? Did somebody bust a lot? Nope, nope, nope. Nah, bro. I, I got a dirty mind. Nope, we ain't doing oh, it. Oh, so, <laughs> I can't believe yeah. he said that's what that was. God dang. If you got that much in your tank, then <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. I ain't going to count. The room, but then a guard approaches, and then mm. another guard approaches. And the first one pops a cap in his ass. And they like, wait a damn minute. Ain't no way. It's that Gaffey's Gallier. Homie came in with the close combat because he was missing his shots. So homie starts blasting. So Jotaro has to use Star Platinum. But then this stand ends up coming behind him. Bro says, hmm, looks like you've fallen into my trap. Witness the power of White Tooth Snake. So bro, pimp slaps him. And these discs come out of my boy's head. Bro what? basically stole my dude's rooms. And now he getting shot. Oh my God. So then Jolene puts him in a spin cycle and starts beating his ass. And look at Jotaro. He's like, hmm, looks like my mm. son is beating some ass. Looks like I've done a great job as a father. Now I'm about to pass help. Yo, boy. Oh. He dead. So Jolene takes him outside, but it looks like our boy is down for the count. But oh, yeah, there he is, is still hope. So she starts <laughs> talking to the kid again, and he basically says, "Yo, dad got his soul snatched." So we learn the kid's name is Emporio. He got his soul grew snatched. Up in the prison, he was born here. He was raised here. Oh my god, <laughs> this nigga's bane. I was born in it, molded by it. So we go back to face John Gallier after he got okay. his ass beat. So White Snake pull up, and he's like, "Hmm." Looks like you got your ass beat. So therefore, you're kicked from phase. So 
Mm-hmm. Well, after this, Jolene ended up getting another five years added on to her wow. sentence because of that escape. Another five and she years got stuck escape. in the punishment war for like <laughs> weeks. So a few weeks end up passing. So they got everybody mm-hmm. outside to so the warden like, all right, everybody listen to f- Not this we puppet had two again, inmates bro. Go missing the other day, so, uh, uh, somebody need to go find their asses. So Jolene volunteers and Army says, well, because she's like, hmm, have to tell her about my side quest. So they have to put these uh, I'm bombs just trying to wonder, like, that big got a beard? Or is it just me, guy, man? Everybody listen to f- up. We had two inmates go missing the other day. So, uh, somebody need to go find their asses. So Jolene volunteers and Army says, well, because she's like, hmm. She got a goddamn go. Oh my god, she did. She did. God dang. Wait, what? Well, you get your line up, bad bitch. No cow. Wait to get your line up, baby. For real. God dang. Have to tell her about my side quest. So they have to put these bombs on their wrists like they're the suicide squad or something. So the guard says, if you get 50 meters away from me, yo ass goes boom, boom. So he ends up getting on a four wheeler and he takes off. So they like, wait a damn minute. Hold on, homeboy, you going a little too fast. So later on, Hermes ends up catching up to Jolene. So she's like, hmm, what's up, girl? I got to tell you about my side quest. So you see what had happened was... I got this new stand called Kiss. It's like some stickers, like some arts and crafts and shit. So I ended up beating him through the broom, and then I fought the same janitor. His name was McQueen, and he was trying to off himself. And every time he did that, the same thing happened to me. I even offered him my panties, but I guess he didn't want no coochie. Oh. I also met the little nigga with the baseball cap, so uh, that's why I'm talking Yo. about. Yo. The, <laughs> wow. the guard comes you didn't in and tries the same to antagonize boy. him. So bro starts messing with him and tries to make him fall in crocodile doo-doo. Like, bro, what is wrong with these guards? And also, there are now six prisoners out there, and they started off with five. So somebody is an imposter. So then the bombs start beeping, and they look over at the officer, and then gone. And then a girl mm. in the back, like, wait a minute, why is mine beeping fast? Hold on. What the fuck? Oh. Hey. Oh that's got to be one of the most tragic deaths I've ever seen. You really <laughs> died to a wrist bomb. So they pull up on him and they like, all right, all three of y'all nasty motherfuckers, freeze. One of y'all is a stand user, so who is it? Fess up. So Jolene ends up smacking this one girl. So Army's like, girl, why you hit her like that? And Jolene said, hmm, shit, I don't know. I'm just going to drop all their asses. But then this one girl grabs her and all three of them start talking. And then... What in the invader zip what is, is that? I robot is this? Stan starts is talking that? like, my name is Foo Fighters. Put some respect on my name, nigga. How dare you disrespect my set and run up on my lake? So homeboy start moving like an exoskeleton. Mm. Uh-huh. So then Jolie starts chasing after him, and then he's like, oh, I see you trying to get these discs. Well, uh, too bad, you nasty b-. But then she started making the tractor move and the disc are taking off with it. So homeboy hit the jets. He's like, my precious disc. How dare you hit a lick on me? But the dirt ended up slowing him down and homeboy was done for. So then Hermes was about to throw some dirt on him. But then Jolene stopped. Mm. Stop. We're going to keep him. So Hermes is like, you want to keep this ugly ass peanut head ass green bean looking ass alive? We should feed this water type Pokemon ass to the crops. But Jolene said no. I hereby announce this severed head of a water type Thanks. Pokemon, a Jobro. So they end up finding Star Platinum's disc. Send that nigga out. What girl that so got many blown up earlier here. then pulled back up. Literally. She's like, hold on, it's your trusty homegirl Foo Fighters. I just went ahead and just took over the dead girl body with this old pineapple head ass haircut. She got had a leaf on her head. So they end up getting picked up by all the cops. Yo. So later on that evening, we see White Snake in the shed. And then we see the user. Father Poochie, I spend the block in the name of the Lord. I am that good. Father, I was wondering if I could get parole. <laughs> parole? You must be out of your damn mind. But Father, I, 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 don't speak until I tell you to speak, bitch. Yes, Father. Now then, sister, have you paid your tithes and offerings this month? Um, no, Father. He more like a pimp than a preacher. Oh, nah, boo-boo, that ain't gonna do. Have you taken your communion this month? He's heavy. Um, no, Father. Oh, sweet Lord, heavenly Jesus, we got a sinner. But father, I promise you to be- My, my, my. From the streets, did she emerge into the what? streets? She shall return. And I say unto say you- Say faster. Hey, yeah. Hey, so Dang. be not worried. <laughs> what? They swear to God. Nigga, chapter one, verse one through three. Drill that into your head, bitch. 
So later on, while they outside playing catch, this one girl starts sipping on FF water. So she like, Ego, get your nasty ass, busted ass 360 ways away from my goddamn water. So they keep on playing catch. And the girl that Poochie beat up pull up and she like, I bet y'all $100 y'all won't last. So Jolene like, hold on, I ain't got that type of money. She said, it don't matter. I'll take anything of value. So Jolene's like, no, but then Armies comes up and she's like, yo, Jolene, we cannot pass this up. You see how many racks she got in her sock? We playing the game. So they start yeah, playing Yeah, yeah, y'all better play. And then Foo Fighters gets distracted. She like, hey, f*** away from my cup, nigga. So she almost dropped the damn ball, <laughs> but they end up making it to her. Why that bitch look like she got broccoli on the top of her head? Okay. So then she like, hey, hey then I. Oh, my God. I'm going to give you a whole band. Take it or leave it. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. You telling me she got a whole band in prison? Ain't no way, bro. What type of operation is she running yeah. up in here? So they playing for a thousand dollars now, but it's starting to get late. But then the guard comes behind him. He's like, "Hey, nigga, time is up. So put the damn ball down." So she like, "Okay, he here, 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 for more time." So he like, "All right, then, I'll be taking the glove though." <laughs> well, she's about almost dropping the ball, but she picks it up with her stand ability. But apparently, that was against the rules. So then, old girl Stan comes out. Stan was like, "Pay your debt." So it rips out the money that was stuck in her side boob. This year, mm, that ain't enough. So I'll be taking your liver. Ooh. Oh my God. Hurt my liver over that. took a boob that. away. So Jolene and Foo Fighters start okay. playing again so they can get her liver back. So they <laughs> keep all ready. So now they stuck on an elevator. So then she throw the ball up, but the security guard ends up catching the ball. Said, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. And look at the ugly Ooh. ass. She's like, <laughs> get over, beat him nigga. Up. Now pay your debt. Dang. But then oh, she's smacking her with the ball. She like, you really didn't think I would have a backup plan, did you? You should know my pickpocketing skill is maxed out. <laughs> Stupid ass. Now I'm about to beat you like my great grand uncle. Oh, you just beat your oh. Whole family, right? Hey, oh. wow. <laughs> she made it hey, rain up in that hole. So then the next day she go over to use made the phone. Rain. So the big old lunch lady like, hey, bitch, what the? F hold on, hold on, take a seat, boo boo. <laughs> Get real comfortable, <laughs> bitch. Give me that. Take a coat too, sister. <laughs> Stay blessed. Plus so some then she soda has a and some speed gum. Foundation. So they like, all right, listen, we still got your dad body up in here. So if you want to give us that disc, meet us in the courtyard. So then she ended up walking up to this double chin looking guard. She it's got her hair for me. Going on and everything. <laughs> so she started yelling, but then she saw that money. She said, hey, you can pass. Dad, so dang, then she sees Emporia. That bit low key got the, <laughs> she got the wicks in her hair. Oh, she got the Kodak joints. Hey. Go again. Mm -hmm. Low key. So then she ends up getting sent to this ghost room. She's like, hold on. What is going on? Why is homie in a piano right now? Weather report. I'm a certified meteorologist. And also this piano is comfortable as hell. So she's like, wait a minute, Emporio. So you're a stand user? Hell yeah, nigga. I'm Casper. Look, I could pull a whole bell out of my ass. I'm literally a video game character inventory. So they're going to try to get to the courtyard. So weather report is going to come along and help. My God, homie getting real close. Said, hey, what's good with you? So they head into the courtyard, and what is that? Oh, mm. no, nah, bro. Look at him. Look at his shoes. Damn, nah. This damn rejects. Like nah, it's no so way he's going to do this. He's going to roll. He starts to float. He oh, talks yeah, about like, the oh, shoes. His standability no. is zero. That's one of the roaches from the so hood. So they end up following old doodle man to this room, and he started to suck all the oxygen out of the room. Bro, oh. made the room a vacuum. So then Weather Report ends Yo. up making some cloud soups. And then they end up beating doodle man. Ass. Thank God, bro. Get him off of my screen. Like, yo, this man Lang Wrangler gives me absolute nightmares. Like, when I think of the boogeyman, I think of this nigga. So then the Facts. door starts to open and Poochie is at the door. Bro, looking at Jolene like, my, my, if it isn't the fatherless child of Jotaro Kujo, should I beat her ass right now or let her pass? <laughs> So she's like, please, father, let please me Please beat that nigga. So I just looked at her and said, all right, then. I don't need to give up my identity yet. So she finally makes it to the courtyard. So she sees the dude. So she's thinking, oh, my gosh, that's him. That's the contact. So she walks up to him. And this man pulls out the blicky. Oh. No, he didn't. And she's like, uh -huh, she, she, she got she, you really she thought did. you was going to get out of here with that disc? Yeah. So we're going to flashback to 1988. <laughs> and this man <laughs> is <laughs> with the biggest hater in anime history. This man, Dio, the ultimate oh, yes. hating ass nigga. Bro's like, I wake up, breathe, and hate. You know who I really hate, though? Them goddamn Joe stars. So Poochie ended up learning the ways of Dio to become an ultimate hating ass. So he could ascend to ultimate hating hood in heaven. So weather reporters over here beat up and he's like, huh, 
I guess I have to use my final attack. So it starts raining. Breaking news out in Florida, it is literally what? raining frogs out there. I mean, it is. What? Raining frogs. No, we are. So, yeah, moving. this man hey, weather so. report literally started making it rain. You don't like frogs? Poisonous frogs. Yeah, man, nah, I'm like, scared as hell. <laughs> 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 I was just hopping everywhere. So he starts counting prime numbers to calm himself down. So Pucci sees his guard. He's like, hey, cut, open the door. But he starts running away, so he's like, you pussy. So he kicks the frog at dude and makes him go blah, yo. So we got the dude to open the door and he just left. So he walks outside mm. to go get the disc from Jolene, but she was shielding herself the whole time. So she got the disc off to the bird that was the actual contact. So this man, Poochie, was pissed. He goes over to her and starts going crazy. Bruh said, oh, you think you did something? She already you ain't did. do jack shit, nigga. That's what your daddy did. And you will always be a fatherless ass child. Why he violate like that? Come on down. Jolene went to the ICU. And it was just another day at the Green Dolphin Street Prison. So yeah, that was beyond scared straight. At the end day, the day ended. So, uh, <laughs> there it go. So what y'all think about that video though? I liked it. I just liked it. It was better than the last one. That was pretty interesting. You know, what very I'm interesting. Some girl to girl combat, even though they weird as hell. Hey, I ain't about to fight neither one of them. No cap. Yeah. Just can't do it. She she going to goddamn choke the hell out of you just with a string. With a sewing <laughs> string, okay? Mm -hmm. We can't mess with you. No way. That no way. Yeah, yo. Like, god dang. I'm not going to cheat on you once, bitch. <laughs> Type of bitch that's going to put a, you know, a track on your car and everything. <laughs> nah, nah. Ain't going to happen. But, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go follow these beautiful ladies, man. I'm going to leave a link. In the description, man. Y'all hit that like, hit that sub, man. Fat Red Guy, man. I'm signing out, man. You guys have a wonderful day, man. I bet.